Welcome back to GMNC this morning. In studio with me is the lovely Claudia Greenwood. Hi Claudia, how are you? Good and you, Patricia. Good, thanks. It's been a while since we saw each other. It has. <laughs> it's been wonderful to see you again. <laughs> you too. And we're chatting all things I can this morning. Absolutely, all about I can. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why, you know, Patricia, wouldn't we all like to be happy all the time? Of course. I mean, everybody I speak to says, I just want to be happy. I just want to be peaceful. I just want to, just life to be good. And okay. easy. And is that really realistic? I mean, let's face it, it isn't. Because in life, we have the opposite, right? You can't, you can't understand light if you haven't seen the dark. Mm -hmm. um, you can't understand what it means to be happy if you haven't had some sadness. Hmm. And, and, and that's how life is. So we need to have a look at what we can do to switch things. Because things don't always work out the way we anticipate. No. I mean, obviously, whatever we do, we have a, an idea of what the outcome, what we how want. How we'd like it to be. Yeah. How we'd like it to be, and we hold on to that. Mm. So then when it doesn't turn out that way, we get disappointed. And it mm -hmm. could be anything from a friendship. Maybe it's to be included in something or gets certain attention from somebody. Maybe it's um, we thought we were going to have a sponsor um, helping us out with some nice project that we're doing and that doesn't come through mm -hmm. or maybe we wanted to have um uh, you're at school and or a student or something and you want to have good grades or you submit some amazing assignment you put a lot of effort into it and the results just aren't there or mm -hmm. somebody disappoints you and lets you down mm -hmm. and then when we have those situations happening what is the first thing we tend to do what do we do within ourselves what's your experience Pratisha? We worry, we get overwhelmed, yeah, we get and you frustrated. Yes, and we start talking to ourselves internally. We start saying to ourselves, um, maybe I'm not so, as good a person as um, my friends, you know, mm. want me to be. Um, maybe my project wasn't good enough. Maybe um, so they like somebody else more than me. And we start saying to ourselves, I'm not good enough, mm. um, I'm a failure. Um, I've got bad luck. I um, can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. Absolutely. And so, so that narrative goes. And what are we doing? If you picture a door mm -hmm. and it's closed, every time we have those negative thoughts, it's like turning that lock once again and locking it again. So now we want to walk through the door because on the other side of that door is an amazing, happy life, the, the life we want. But mm -hmm. we're locking that door by having these thoughts that are limiting us. We like Try and walk through a closed door, Pratisha. What's going to happen? You slam your head right on it. <laughs> Very hard. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And, and that's what it feels like when you're stuck in those negative patterns, right? Exactly. That's exactly what it feels like. So you could feel physical pain when you knock your head on there, but then it starts becoming emotional pain and it drains you. It's tiring. You can't keep on knocking your head against the door and expecting yourself, hopefully, to eventually get through there. You're going to be very scarred. So... The key to opening that door and unlocking it is, I call it the key of I can. Have an I can attitude. So naturally, we will have those thoughts coming up. Is, yes. oh, I'm a failure, or I'm not wanted, or I can't do this, or I'm scared. Mm. Well, every time you have that thought, catch yourself and then say, I can, and fill in the dots. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I'm a failure because this didn't work out, say to yourself, I can do better. Mm. I can try harder. I can do something different. If it's, I don't know, some relationship, somebody's let you down, or they haven't responded to you or given you the attention you wanted or included you, say, but I am good enough. I can be a good friend. I can ask them, you know, to do something together. Or I can have that conversation. I can let them know that I'm not happy or find out what's going on. The key is I can. And the I can key is the one that unlocks that door. It's because it opens you up to possibilities, right? For sure. Whereas when you're overwhelmed and frustrated and tired, you're closed off. Yes. So if you can imagine um, you, you're sitting in, in a building somewhere and the, the ocean is on the other side and there's this door and it's locked. And you keep on wanting to get out and see that beautiful ocean and see what's out there and have the freedom you want and go and do those things but that door's locked, 
When you start telling yourself, I can, I can do this, you start putting hope into yourself and lifting yourself up. Because that I can energy is light. Mm. And suddenly, you start seeing that there are possibilities. And eventually, you can unlock that door, open the door, and you can see that there is possibility on the other side. This is when you can go through the door. Obviously, the next stage would be, okay, now you've got to do something. Yes. But you can't do something without believing that you can. Definitely. So take on, pick up your I can key and unlock that door because that's where we're going to start seeing change in our lives. And then you'll start seeing the next steps and the next steps, you know. Of course. But and you're right. If before that, you're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're overwhelmed mm -hmm. and you're frustrated and you're disappointed and all of those things, like yes. you said. Yeah. You know, Pratisha, you know that energy of when you, when you are overwhelmed? And, and you, f you feel... Personally, for me, the energy of overwhelm is the worst. <laughs> oh, it, it is dreadful. It is. It's, it's just, I feel really stuck if I'm overwhelmed. Yes. That's exactly what it does. So when you feel stuck, it's heavy. Mm -hmm. It's like, how do I get out of this? When you start saying to yourself, okay, I can do this. I've, I'm juggling all these things. Maybe you had a late night with, or a rough night with kids. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sometimes I can relate. Things, you can relate. <laughs> I can relate from, you know, past experiences yes, as well. Yes, those memories never leave you. Hey? And when you wake up in the morning, how do you feel? It's like, oh my goodness. You know, I but if you tell yourself, I'm tired. I can't do this. I've got all these things to juggle. That's that overwhelm and that key that you actually are locking yourself in. Mm -hmm. Rather say to yourself, acknowledge it because it's real. Yes, I am tired, but I can get myself up. I can do these things. I can take one thing at a time. I can smile, actually. Exactly. I mean, just a smile changes a person's energy automatically. And suddenly you feel, actually, this isn't so bad. And that door opens and you can go through and see that beautiful horizon and whatever it is that you want to achieve. Um, we need to uplift ourselves, and that's where it starts. It's that, in, you know, that deep inner work. Well, Claudia, if you don't uplift yourself, unfortunately, nobody else will. Exactly. There's nobody coming to pick up the pieces. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could say, somebody, <laughs> rescue me? It's not going to happen. No one's coming to rescue you. Nobody's <laughs> coming to rescue you, but we know that it's not always um, that easy, mm. but one little step at a time, turn one little key at a time, one I can at a time is going to get you there. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that with us. I love that one. Thank you. And it's easy to apply and I mean you can start applying it today. Yes, immediately. So with the very you. next thought that yes. you have that knocks you down. Thank I you can. very much, Claudia. That was as inspiring as ever and it was Pretty great sure. to see you again. <laughs> Thanks, Pratisha, likewise. Stay tuned. Next up we'll be chatting to Neville and we're going to be debunking snake myths.